Tonight, Governor Ron DeSantis says the state is working hard to fix glitches in its unemployment system and getting more payments out to more people. But frustrated Floridians still waiting on their benefits say they feel like they continue to get blamed, including one woman who tells Nightside's Joshua Dorowitz she's one of those people who filed all the way back in March. Well, good afternoon. From Tallahassee Tuesday, Governor Ron DeSantis touting the fact the state has paid out more than $2.6 billion in claims, even as complaints pile up from Floridians still waiting for theirs. Our bills aren't stopping. Carrie Husted has been laid off from her bartending job in Tampa since mid-March. She says her unemployment application was pending for nine weeks until one $600 payment finally showed up unannounced on Monday. My question is, why did it take nine weeks to become eligible and then just receive um, part, you know, part partial payment. I, I don't even know, is that federal, is that state? Um, there's yep. no communication in the system at all. Carrie's situation raises another good question. The state says more than 97% of claimants have been paid. What they're not telling us is how many have actually been paid everything they're owed so far. People are paid in the order that they're there. So if there's somebody from March who's gone through, submitted it all, done, uh, they're going to have gotten paid by now. The governor again saying it's an issue with your claim if you applied in March and still haven't seen any money. Thank you for calling the Florida Reemployment. As for people trying to call in with questions, they are facing average wait times of an hour and a half. It's really long. And that's the reason why we've scaled up from about 40 people answering the phone to 6,000. That's if you can get through. By 9 o'clock, I had 20 hang up. Ron Collins of Largo says he was disconnected more than 50 times today trying to ask a question about his application. It's just it's, it's just been terrible. I mean, uh, it, I, I could I could call another 50 times tomorrow for not get anyone. And we can tell you there is a plan to have a new tool available within the next three to four days for people to log into where they'll be able to verify their personal information. They said today, hopefully that will clear a relatively large backlog. As soon as we get details, we'll send them to you on your phone through our free 10 News app.